Hey there, Internet Keeve here, and welcome to the Cars and Keeve YouTube channel. In this video, we are putting up two of the cordless sprayers from Ryobi against my favorite, the Solo 460. First, we have the Solo Sprayer. Uh, they're right now, this is on Amazon for 36 bucks. So if you want to grab it real quick, it's, it goes up and down between $35 and $45 constantly. Uh, there'll be a link below. So next, you got the Ryobi Handheld Sprayer. And actually, right now on Amazon, this is $26 without the battery. $36 with the battery and the charger that goes with it and that's pretty good because at Home Depot right now with the battery It's like 80 to 100 bucks without the battery. I think it's 50 ish the other Ryobi they call the Compact sprayer they can't find us on Amazon You can only find us at Home Depot and it's uh, about 70 something dollars 79.99 I think without the battery and it's like hundred and nine dollars with the battery, but I got it on eBay for 60 bucks. There's somebody selling uh, their unit that they never used and I was able to snag it up pretty quick because when I'm doing these reviews, I'm trying not to spend too much money. None of this is sponsored, all of this is paid for. Now both of those Ryobi's are 18 volt. They use the one plus battery system. Every tool I have is Ryobi. I'll show you in a second, it's just ridiculous. So as you can see, I'm a bit of a Ryobi guy. And then the lawn tools over there. It's just easier to stay with one company. I always started with Ryobi, so I just continued with them. Never had a problem with any of their products ever. Never had one fail on me ever. The Ryobi sprayer up close. So you see there's just not a whole lot going on here, which is good. Simple is better in a lot of cases. These little things pop off. And then it's kind of a little bit of a pain to jiggle it out. And then when you put it back on, you got to, this is, cumbersome like having to bolt this on every single time if you're using a lot of chemicals the only problem with this this is the only size bottle you're ever going to be able to use uh, you're not going to be able to have any adaptability now here's how i found out how to adjust this so this little nozzle comes off if you know anything about foam cannons they have these things called orifices but you can see in there there's actually one in there so let's take it out so you can see it so it's this little piece right here and it's got a little flat head on it that basically changes the amount of water they can get behind uh this to shoot through that little hole right there. To undo it like a quarter of a turn or a half a turn, it'll get more towards uh, a wetter stream, especially if it's windy outside, you don't want that mist. Uh, and then if you go out even further, it just shoots a straight stream. So it's adjustable, it's a pain in the butt to adjust. Just like any other battery powered tool, battery clicks in, you're good to go. Little buttons on the side, comes right out. So the compact sprayer is definitely more complex than the handheld sprayer, but overall it's still a simple process. Adjustable nozzle, Bottle with a quick disconnect and a battery port. The cool thing about this is it's got a quick disconnect and that's a normal garden hose quick disconnect. But here's your problem. As you can see, those threads are really tight together. On almost all bottles, they're very far apart and there's only two or three. There's like five or six threads here. This right here will not screw on to any other bottle that I've seen. But right, we just carry quick disconnects that have two liter bottle and one liter bottle attachments on them for their battery powered um, pressure washer. Uh, there's also quick disconnects that have a hose that can go to a bucket. So the adjustable nozzle here is what makes this better in my opinion than the other one just straight out of the box. Battery goes in the same way as the other one but this one has a little bit tighter click and release. My current favorite, the Solo 460. Uh, the adjustability is great on this, it stays where it is. This screws off and can mount just about any bottle out there. So you can go and put this directly onto a chemical bottle that you bought from the store. Nice, thick plastic bottle. All of them have a really nice, thick plastic bottle. Has some measurements on the side. Those do as well. This is my only complaint is this piece right here. Now USB, good. That's, that's normal. That's universal. This is not. What we're going to do is we have the hood here to just kind of spray against so we can check our spray pattern uh, how much you can mist. Initially distilled water. Second, we have W5 from G Technic, which is an all purpose cleaner. And then you also have uh, W6 fallout remover, which is the thickest chemical that I have. And this definitely clogs. Press all bottles can't do this. When you put this in a press all bottle, it'll spray a little bit and then it will no longer double pump. <laughs> so it's pretty thick. So before we get any further into the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check the links below for these and any other products that I use. Let's get to testing. So very misty on this with the distilled water. Uh, emulsified water really well. You can see we're just getting itty bitty little beads. I mean, it's barely even getting anything on there, but if we get close, you know, we can get 
more water on there obviously further away the mist is just going to carry now let's try to do uh the manual adjustment that i showed you can do on this so we're adjusting this just like we're talking like quarter turns to see the difference so there's definitely more water coming out now we can hit it from a distance up close obviously you have more pressure so this is without the little orifice in there so this is full water straight spray got a good bit of pressure don't listen to most reviews they have on amazon some people are thinking this is a paint sprayer and they're giving it tons of one stars because it can't shoot paint it doesn't even say it's a paint sprayer crazy so the solar sprayer adjustability is fully at mist so you see it's mist doesn't emulsify as much as the ryobi it does cover a much broader area because the mist isn't just so small that it can barely attach to a surface up close a good bit of water coming out we'll go out a little more and this is the mist that you would use say if it was windy outside uh, so you know the wind's not going to carry as much of your mist this works pretty good up close a lot of water coming out let's adjust that a little more and there's your stream i'd say about the same pressure as the Ryobi. Ryobi Compact. Oh, wow. That is some mist right there. This would be really good for, you know, if you grew plants in your house. <laughs> look at that mist. Even this close, look how small those beads are. Okay, let's move it out. Quarter turn. Okay, so we're already at our full stream. Pretty strong stream, I say just as strong as the other two. So let's go back to full and let's just turn out just like two little lines. Okay, so we're still at a slightly less of a mist. Go out just, I mean, just a tad. Okay, we're already there at, this is why, like I said, this is more for wind, more water, obviously bigger beads, more coverage area. Now let's move on to a full strength, all purpose cleaner. The Solo, I can just take the head off and just drop it on my bottle of W5 and go straight to work. You can see we don't have the emulsified mist as much. As you can tell that it has uh, definitely a little more uh, liquid coming out, a little less mist, but it is not struggling to shoot this chemical. And the coverage is really, really good. This right here would be like, if you're you know really windy, still creating a compact mist so when you hit it you have this you know mist that gets sprayed out that's not something that you can really avoid and here's your full stream you see how much pressure how this stuff hits and just bounces everywhere this one we're gonna do a little backward because i already have the piece out from the last test so this is full stream so you see i don't think it has as much pressure as it did with the distilled water here is the full mist So it can still carry a mist. Definitely nowhere near as good as it was, but it's still a decent mist. There is a lot of mist dropping off. You can see right here, a little more liquid on this spray. More actually shooting more mist up now. Here's a little bit more. You see not quite full stream, but pretty much the stream. Here is the compact mist. Oh, it is still really, obviously it's nowhere near as it was before, but it's missing the best still. Go back a little bit. There we go. There you go. As you see, we're getting a lot better coverage. This has obviously getting more liquid because it's draining down the rest. The unit isn't struggling at all. The other ones weren't either. Then obviously there's your full stream. Let's move on to the iron remover. Once again, the beauty of the handheld sprayer fits right on to just about any bottle. It's great. And you see, it just does not want to spray it in the mist. The chemical is too thick. Uh, it has the consistency is just slimy. So it, it doesn't have the ability to aerate that mist. So let's move it out a little bit. Still the same. You can hear it. It's definitely trying harder. Let's go out more. It just can't do it. <laughs> now to show that we haven't ruined this, we're gonna leave it in mist. We have the distilled water in here. 
Let's see it progress. See, back through, got the slimy chemical out. Now we are back to our normal misting. We have not damaged it in any way. Ryobi compact sprayer. Okay, see a little more than the solo can do, but basically the same. I mean, the stream is like a little bit wider. Uh, let's do an adjustment out. The pressure on this with the full stream is definitely more than the solo. We definitely have way more pressure. Full distilled water again. You see, it's back to the way it was. The Hound Hell's Prayer. Do you see, it can't even push the chemical out. It's trying to actually mist it though. There's little bitty fine particles of mist, but it is leaking like a sieve onto the battery down here. Even without the tip in there, it can't, it can't, it can't do it. As you see, we have distilled water at about the same level and it's back to misting. You can see, I've not damaged anything. We are no longer leaking. Actually for a prep, this might actually be pretty good. Just have your alcohol in here, your IP mix, your 50, 50 or whatever you're using. And then you have, you can mist it on there. The solo is better because of the price, the versatility. But I think from a spraying standpoint, I think the Ryobi might be a little bit better. I just don't like how thin the adjustment is. Have a link below for any of this. All these do work to a certain extent and they can serve a purpose. Hopefully you can make that choice for yourself. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.